Welcome back, welcome back, guys. We are going to kick things off with our first Irish cream milkshake. So we're using some Molly. It's just like Bailey's. For those of you who don't know, it tastes the same exact way. Okay guys, starting off with my ice cream. I have about three to four scoops of ice cream. Yes, it is on the softer side, which make it more smooth. I just um, added my Irish cream. I will be adding my Oreo and a little bit of, so there goes my Oreos. I added about six Oreos. Yes guys, and I'm, I, I'm also using vanilla ice cream and then we are going to add milk and blend guys remember to blend this mixture until it's very smooth and creamy so if your ice cream is a little bit too soft you can um, actually add some ice cubes to it and it will be a little bit on the thicker side so it will be the same but just easier to handle now we are going to decorate our glass just using some chocolate syrup you can use whatever pattern you want i'm not using any particular one i'm just putting some chocolate syrup in there after that we will be pouring our mixture into the glass that's my glass guys i actually got that glass when i went on vacation to um the rainforest um cafe a restaurant and i got this really great drink in it so i just kept the glass i paid for the glass and i brought it home so pouring or mixture into the blender and after that we will be decorating our drink so we will be getting our whipped cream and i did give this a little test before i started using it so there goes my whipped cream beautiful and we're going back in with some chocolate syrup making our little design whatever design you want no, my counter is a little bit messy, but I will be cleaning that off. We're adding a little Oreo. Then we're going to put our straw in. And then, guys, here we have the finished product. Drink one. And on to drink number two, our Irish cream strawberry milkshake. These is everything that we will be using. The Irish cream that we will be using is our tequila rose so we add our ice cream or tequila rose a little bit of chocolate milk and some fresh strawberries we giving that a blend until it's smooth as we did with the first we are going to pour it into our glass guys this is really easy to make it takes about an, a minute then we're going to add our whipped cream again for decoration add a little straw and some strawberry slices and then we're all done the second on to our third and final drink it's a s'mores martini these are the ingredients that we will be using some caramel sauce some graham cracker i'm just giving the glass a little rim so the graham cracker will stick to it as as we said it's a s'mores martini and this is for particular for people that don't want ice cream so i did put a little ice in my blender i added my chocolate milk and my molly which is a rum cream or irish cream i also added some 
of the caramel. I gave it a good blend. And now I'm going to pour it into my glass. The struggle is real, guys. My belly is in the way of everything. Can you see that? <laughs> All right, and we are pouring. So I did put some marshmallows on this. So what I did, I soaked a skewer in some water. And then I put on the marshmallows. You can either run a lighter under the marshmallows to give it a little burned mark. Or you can just run it under your um, over some flames of your stove. And there we have it, guys. Our third and final drink. All three of our drinks. And now we are moving on to dessert. Okay, guys. On to our desserts. So I just did a box cake. Follow the instructions. And I will be doing my own little hacks. To show you how I got the cupcakes that I wanted. So I did divide the mixture into three separate bowls. I added um, cocoa powder and some crushed Oreo. I'm giving this a very good stir to make sure all the Oreo is incorporated into the mixture. I also will be adding some Irish cream and this is about three teaspoons or two teaspoons yes guys I did use the cover because I didn't want to go over the amount so about two te um, teaspoons giving it a quick stir and then I will be adding it to my cupcake liners And on to our second mixture, same as the first, the box cake. I'm adding a little melted chocolate for texture and flavor. And then the melted chocolate is about a quarter cup. And then I will be adding some cocoa powder. I will also be adding that Irish cream again same two teaspoons and I will give in this, be giving this a quick stir um, for this one this is the s'mores so I did use the graham cracker that you see in the cupcake um, the cupcake foils I did mix the graham cracker with some unsalted butter and then I put it into the bottom of the cupcake liners, put it in the oven for about five minutes, took it out, making my mixture, giving it that good stir, and I will be adding it to the cupcake liners. Adding my mixture to the cupcake liners. I'm sorry about my hand being in the way, guys. It's just a bad angle. So putting it into my four cupcake liners. Um, I am just making sure it's not filled too much. So about... Uh, you can leave about a quarter inch space from the top. You got to give it room for that baking. I will also be adding some marshmallows because, again, guys, you know, it's s'mores. So what's s'mores without marshmallows? 
So I will be adding two marshmallows in the middle of this cupcake. Then I will be doing a little bit of cleanup around the edges of the can so nothing burns when I put it in the oven. And then we're going to move on to our third and final cupcake, which is our strawberry Irish cream cupcakes. So the same procedure. This is some pureed strawberry. I just blended some strawberry in the blender to get it pureed. I'm adding it to my cake mixture. I will be also be adding some fresh strawberries the diced strawberries they're both fresh but one is bigger one is a puree and this is a tequila rose that i was telling you about it's a strawberry irish cream it tastes so good guys no i am not drinking it because i am pregnant so but before i was pregnant i used to drink it a lot actually a friend of mine introduced it to me and i fell in love with it this is just a sample that I had in my cupboard, so I just decided to use it. Again, I'm just adding two teaspoons of the strawberry Irish cream to my mixture. Don't want it to be too overpowering or have too much alcohol. Now with this one, I am actually not stirring. I am folding the strawberries into the cake mixture and then I will be putting it into my cupcake liner. doing a little cleanup around the edges of my cupcakes as I said before I don't want anything to burn or spill over in the oven so I'm just cleaning around the edges and this is how all three cupcakes look I will be putting it in the oven 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes Guys, I did go ahead and make all icings, Oreo icing. I also made a strawberry icing and I made a marshmallow icing. If you want to know how to make these icing, just leave it in the comments below and I'll make a video for that. Now we're moving on to the decorating. Guys, I'm so sorry about the lighting. I was so tired. It was so late at night and... I am just putting on my icing, a little bit of chocolate syrup, and I'm adding Oreo to the top. So there is our finished product, guys. Then we are moving on to our strawberry. So we do have some strawberry icing. We're going to do the exact same thing. And we just add some fresh strawberries to those. 
and our third and final we are using our marshmallow icing then we are actually going to put some chocolate sauce because you know it's s'mores we are adding a little graham cracker crumbs and we added a chocolate bar and some marshmallows there is our finished product let me know what you think in the comments so guys our first combo is our oreo milkshake with our irish cream then we have our strawberry irish cream milkshake then we have our s'mores martini with our cupcakes all three desserts all three cupcakes let me know how i did in the comments below see you in the next video